As we walk into the uh, stand, okay, do you walk around a little bit? We start, we start over here with the, uh, uh, the firecrackers, and on the opposite side, we have the sparklers, because those are things everybody wants, and we want them to have to go on both sides, kind of like milk and, uh, and bread, what they do with like when Dixie's and stuff like that, we want to separate them. But anyway, walk with us. I need to reshop this uh, real quick while we're, we're working together and you're talking. We believe in fronting. We want it to look nice and neat. If we run out of something, then we replace it. We want it to be well packaged where the customer can see what we're doing. Easily priced. Everything is priced and fronted. Here's our missiles. We go missiles to fountains and we have a good selection of fountains. We go to artilleries. We, we like to have a special in the middle. This needs fronting. You see, I have a reshop in my hands. Constantly go around doing this throughout the day to make sure it looks good. Just keep walking with me and I'll show you our islands. High presentation. We have our Saturn missiles made over here. Our cake items, which need to be printed. And everything we do, we like to have sequential. So the customer can see and make their decisions on it. Another thing we'll do is, we like to have a description on one of them, so they see that Rockstar has a description. So as we talk, we can show it to them. Now me and Cade, my son here, and my workers, we study these so we know what we're talking about. Because if a customer asks you something and you're an, you're an idiot, um, they don't like that. Here we go, we got our uh, novelties for spinners, our novelties, all these novelties for kids. Lots of fronting. This takes a lot of work to constantly front it, but it's worth it. Another thing that we do is we want to have things to, at, at eye level and hand level for the kids. Out of the box for the have our, our reshop, our Roman candles, sparklers. This is something I'll do too. This, and and y'all all have good ideas on what to do with this, but we'll, we'll stand up our, our swords so little kids can grab them and capture their imagination. Now I want to show you my islands. Now again, I don't know the size of your tent. But we're going to these islands and a lot of them and it's really working. It isolates them, it makes it more like a store. But here I have my, my big reload, my big artillery shells. I like to flip them over so they can see what they do on the back. Here's a good example of how we like to, to line them up. We have some, you can see what they look like, you can see what they do on the back. Over here are Diablo, same thing. Young Diablo, or little Diablo. Everything's sequential. Now we go to the middle one. We have our assortments. Um, these are for people that want to come in and out. They just want to talk to you, you want to get them in and out quick, so we want to be nice to those people. And again, it goes sequentially bigger. Starting with the little kids, to the bigger kids, to the adults. All sequential, all nice. We need to get another one of these out. Now in the front, we have something, y'all know our finale. This is where we'll start our special. And in this case, we have a two for 60. We want to really make it look fat and nice. We want it to be red. We want to draw attention to it. We run out of something, we don't have something to replace it, then we just make it back. Try to have them where they can see the back. Make sure you just front it good. But it gets sequentially better. We also study on these so we can talk to the customer about what things do. 
I've sold my biggest stuff down here. I'm lucky enough to have a good variety. I want to keep it stocked so if you have some big customers, they know that they they have the best stuff available here. They don't need to go anywhere else because we have the best stuff. So that and uh, I got one more thing to talk to you about. Who you hire is very important. You know, I'm lucky enough to be a coach in an area where I have a lot of good people that work for me. But you're only gonna be as good as your workers are. And the advice I give is it's better to hire somebody and spend a hundred dollars than you can make ten thousand. But if you get too tight or you have bad workers, it's gonna hurt you thousands of dollars. So that's good advice.